Good morning everybody, it's Stephen House and this is Full Time Devils and this is your MUFC Daily. It's international break this week, which means that City fans have to wait until next weekend before they can get the derby defeat out of their system. <laughs> anyway, first up for you this morning is Sergio Romero has been talking and this is what happens isn't it, international break, everybody goes back to their home country and they all start giving interviews that they reckon is never going to get back to the UK. But Sergio Romero has gone and given an interview when he's been back in Argentina and they've linked him to a move back to River Plate and he's basically gone, yeah I don't think so, I see myself taking hold of that number one jersey at Manchester United and I will fight for it and I want to keep it. So, I would say, does he know something that we don't, but let's face it, we all know the same thing don't we, that David De Gea is at some point going to bounce on us and do you know what, he's right, he did look alright when he came in, Sergio Romero. Is he a, be a good replacement for Spanish Dave? Should he bounce? Don't know. But he didn't do bad in the few games that he had at the start of the season, I have to admit. So, don't know what I think about that. But uh, there you go. Um, I do think Spanish Dave is on his way at some point or another. And it's a great quote from uh, Romero. It's, it's the sort of quote that you want to see people saying, no, my head's in Manchester. That's where I want to be playing. So at least someone wants to play for us. Next up, we've got Luke Shaw. Uh, Luke Shaw, this is in uh, a couple of papers. It's in The Express and it's in The Daily Star. Um, and they're both talking... Selfishly, all the national papers, they don't care about United. They just care about him getting back fit for England, innit? Let's face it, that's all they care about. Now, they're both saying source is close to the player, source is close to the club. None of them have got anything concrete to go on whatsoever. And they're just saying that he could return for United before the end of the season. And he's still in Roy Hodgson's thinking. Well, yeah, do you know what? He could return before the end of the club season. But do you know what? I reckon he's going to need five or six games. Which means he needs to be getting back before the end of this month, I think. Well, it's not going to be end of this month, is it? It's, it's going to be uh, it's going to be April, start of April before he's getting back. So he needs to be looking at around about the Everton game for me. He needs to be in and around contention for that before he's going to. He's not going to have much chance, is it, to get back into the England squad? So he needs to be quick, smart, and get back in there. So uh, there you go, Luke Shaw. Now I'd love him back. I'd love to see him go to the Euros, but not at the expense of his career. He's got, a, he's got a horrific injury and it's going to take time. I'd rather see him heal from it properly and miss a Euros. Cause we're not going to win it anyway, are we? So I'd rather see him miss a Euros and concentrate on getting fit for Manchester United, given the two options. Next up for you, we've got Gareth Bale. Now, there's talks of a new contract for Gareth Bale uh, everywhere, essentially. And there's no substance to him, seemingly. Um, and what they're saying is, uh, this is in the Telegraph, and I think it's in the Independent as well, and they're saying uh, Gareth Bale wants parity with Cristiano Ronaldo, and one of them even says they're going to give him a new contract that's going to put him on parity in terms of wages to underline the fact that Gareth Bale is the number one player at Real Madrid. So I had a look at the stats. Ronaldo's got 41 goals this season. Bale's got about 18, might be 17. How is he the number one player at Real Madrid when he's got half as many goals as another guy at Real Madrid? You tell me that. You tell me that. Because I can't work it out for myself. So anyway, new contract talks means that he's uh, likely moved to Manchester United, which didn't happen last summer. Probably ain't going to happen this summer as well. And uh, finally, we've got for you Eric Steele, former Manchester United manage, um, goalkeeping coach, even manager, um, has been talking to a paper up in Newcastle. Uh, I'll post the link below. There's no crazy quotes, there's no gossip, there's no nothing like that. But it's a really nice interview from someone, very open. And he's given good interviews in the past before. He gave a really good one to United We Stand shortly after he left. Um, so go check it out. It's a really good interview. Seems like a top bloke. Um, He's obviously looking towards the end of the season, wants Newcastle to stay up, wants Watford to do well in the FA Cup and wants uh, Brighton to uh, come and get promoted from the Championship. So there you go, he's it's, it's, uh, it's three former clubs in case you was wondering what's the connection. Um, there you go, go and check that out, I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, thank you for watching, um, quiet week this week isn't it with internationals, I'm sure someone's going to say something that's uh, going to kick it off lively. Thank you for watching, talk to me about Gareth Bale being the number one Real Madrid player, do you think that's nonsense or what? And uh, talk to me about Luke Shaw, do you see him making it back for the Euros? Whatever, stick it in the comments, see you soon. Because Manchester is of course, red. Yes, United won the Manchester derby yesterday, beating City 1-0 thanks to Marcus Rashford's goal.